If he really wanted to ban stages that don't really work well for Ike, from what I think, you probably want to do Town so you don't get butchered to that. And possibly Battlefield, depending on how well your character revolves around using Battlefield. Because Ike living forever is not something you want. Yeah, Ike on, Ike's platform pressure is very good, so mm -hmm. let's see how um, well Waldo uses it in this matchup. I mean, right now, Bar is really, really trying to chip as much damage as he can on him. Yeah, not trying right. to get hit or anything. Catching his rolls a little bit. Granted, a couple good hits from Ike and end the stock right there. Yeah, something like that. To be quite honest, I can see I can already kind of see Bar's tactic. He's trying to chip at him and not get hit. You know, which is odd, like the most obvious thing, of course. But against Ike, you, you obviously just want to try to take out as much percent on him as you can. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, there's a no air dodge zone. That's how you get it, it's like the Falcon rule. You never air dodge when Falcon throws you. Then you just die. Mm, no punish. That could have been a harder punish, yeah. Well, I think he just wasn't expecting the momentum shift from the way Bar was kind of moving around. Because he did have a punish from what I remember seeing, but it just wasn't the appropriate one. Also, neat fact, pit up smash, if you're above him, is I think it's safe. At least that's what I assume it is. Because I know when I've tried to punish it, it doesn't really work out that well. Ooh, oh, gonna get that read, B. though, with the side B. And with the wheel. Alright. Tried, tried, no, tried the back air. Hit an air dodge. Tried to dodge. hit him before anything could come out, but quite honestly, you just want to reset neutral and be on the ground again. It's not worth trying to punish it, because A, he was at your percent, and B, you don't want to take damage anyway. Because now it's even. But you don't want to be even against a character that you know makes you explode. Yeah. Like, it's not even when your character can die at like 50. <laughs> Basically, you know. Especially right now, when he's just taking a lot of damage unnecessarily, when he could have, he could have saved the stock. He, just didn't, he picked out a choice that didn't happen to work out. Whoa! Ooh, okay. You know what the funny thing is? If he held his shield just a little longer, it probably would have shield poked him. Because when, you, when your shield diminishes, you can still angle your shield in this game. The thing is, when your shield diminishes, Orbiters? Oh. Orbiters would have killed him. He would have died. I wonder if Barz actually knows that. He probably knows that. I mean, he's been playing Pit for a while. Ooh. If he gets grabbed, down throw, and I think Fair is still true at this percent. So if he gets grabbed, if he's at Fair. Yep. Meaty. As I was going to say earlier, like, Ike isn't as common of a character as he should be, in my opinion, but. So maybe the matchup, if knowledge just isn't it there. It's more so that Ike isn't used more because A he doesn't have a ding dong, which would help him kill easier. Because he has he has raw neutral or like raw attacks. But the problem is he doesn't have anything that can really catch you on shield. He has no kill throws, you know? And the only thing he has is shield pressure. But if you can A outspace him, B outspeed him, or C just power shield his stuff, it becomes really hard to get kills. Which Bars was doing at the it's like the startish of the match. You know, he was just poking at him and Waldo was sort of stuck. I was good so. Alright, so this is Bar's counter pick, Dreamland. I think he's just trying to abuse the platform. So he has a little more A space to get down and B better safer tech chase ability, I guess. Because if Ike is on the platforms, it's not like he can really do anything, but maybe Nair drop she'll drop Nair. It's the only thing I can imagine he would do. I mean, as of right now, this is working out really well, too. Yeah, he um, seems to have adjusted very well. Um, just attacking on damage occasionally. Not getting hit at all by Ike, really. Also, the thing about Pit's down smash, roll down smash is a pretty viable option for Pit specifically. I believe his down smash is frame 4. Like, Melee Zelda, I think, is also frame 4. So yeah. basically, think of it that way. Yeah, if you want to look it up. Fact check it. I'm not entirely sure. Oops, oh, gonna punish that side B. Tried to cancel it. Arbiters? That smash is frame 5. Frame 5. Ah, I can't. I can't. It. But yeah, it's, it's fast, basically. Also, that up smash is gonna get him. So the way that Ike's side B works on platform canceling is similar to Mewtwo up B canceling, where you don't have any lag, but you can still be hit, you know? So yeah. if, if your opponent reads where you're going to be, you can still get hit. You're right about one thing, though. Down Smash is it, one of his fastest moves, hitting at frame 5. Yeah, it's his fastest move, I believe. Yeah, other than like Jab. 
Is it his jab frame four? Three? His jab is frame five. Oh, well, they're even, I guess, right? Yeah. yeah. But it's as fast as down smash, and it's a good get off me button. It doesn't kill per se, but it definitely puts people in a bad position. Yep. Oh. Meaty. Oh. That roll could have been bad. Gonna up tilt him. Raw. Man said, Raw. <laughs> Disgusting. He's at 130 or something. 138, something like that. Okay. I mean, right now, Bar's not letting that really uh, bring him down or anything. Yeah, he gets it. He, he figured it he out. He went for it. Orbiters are good. It just wasn't the appropriate yeah. time for it. But you, like, you didn't get punished for anything. Because because Waldo was forced to grab the ledge. So it makes it a pretty viable option. He, he all bees, he gets Orbiter and dies. Yeah. It's like, it's a medium risk, high reward. Medium risk being the sense that he does, he doesn't have a chance of getting hit, but the the reward is that your opponent dies. Yeah, it's just it's murder. Basic. I mean, it's definitely not, it's definitely not impossible right now. Like, Ike Meaty hits him like a few more times. That's a dead, that's a dead pit. Yep. Especially with that raging play now. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see how, how uh, well, the Waldo can actually, whoop. Meaty. Okay. Now this is a very scary position. Right? Go so super armor through that. Yep. And he's gonna live. That's a little bad. You don't want to give him any unnecessary rage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. If he gets bad. hit from, if he got hit from up there, that he was it. That was dead. a stop. That was that Eight. was not a good decision. Ooh. Ooh. That was that was scary. He could have punished him right there. Oh. oh you don't want to be on the ledge right now. Definitely not where this you want to be. Scary. Spooks. This is why That's it. That's gonna be it. That's gonna be game. That's game two. It's one one. Whew. That was definitely a spookier situation than it needed to be. How professional! How professional stream manager. We esports, e bro. <laughs> Poor little stream. What? Who said that? <laughs> who said that? <laughs> who said, who, would, do such who a would dare thing? say such a sacrilegious word? You such a thing. <laughs> All right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That so def I definitely his name doesn't rhyme with Lelper. <laughs> Leprosy, I mean Leper. <laughs> Alright, so while they're opting to go back to Smashville, I'm assuming Bar is banned town. Maybe Lila. Maybe. It worked out for Waldo last time. You yes. clearly see Waldo's not feeling that blue Ike. He changed clothes. Yeah, that's the ultimate counter right there. The cloak of poopy brown Ike. <laughs> really gonna get him somewhere. <laughs> Alright, right now bars it's all over this man. Like we said, heavy hitters hit hard. Oh, that was neat. neat. That was an interesting grab, yeah. Neat! Rolling all over this man. I feel like I feel like bars' rolls are half calculated into down smashes and half just like angst. Oh, okay, that was interesting. Yeah, this is definitely not looking good for Waldo right now in the position that the momentum is shifted, you know. Yeah, but momentum. granted, with Rage in play, he easily just turns around. It's not even that, though. It's that, that momentum has shifted so hard towards bars, but now that he's at the ledge, Waldo Probably definitely taking back rise. that. Yeah, definitely taking back the momentum. Yep. That's just how it works with meaties, you know? Or like heavy hitters, grapplers, etc. Like, yeah. The percent lead may look good, but things can change very the momentum, quickly. The momentum isn't yours until the stock is taken, basically. But right now, this is pretty even-ish. Almost. That was not going to go. Ooh, good That's not going to kill. He did that really well, too. Maybe up smash for him? I think it would have He might have slipped out of it. Yeah. He probably would have hit him. Chess should kill. Yeah. Good job covering him with the arrow, though, just in case. That kills. Yeah. It really does. But right now. What's important is that Bars keeps the momentum that he's obtained. You know, dying right now would destroy. If he died right now, nothing changes. You just have Ike at zero, and now you're at zero. <sighs> Mistimes it a little bit, but still spooky. You never really want to get hit by that. Gonna get that little tip of the smell. Bars doing a really good job trying to keep his momentum going right now. Not trying to yeah. do anything that's not safe. Because going back to that bit, stock, things are very bad. Oh, that was really spooky. Oop. Yep, caught rolling. But he's still living. Good to add. 
Hopefully, it doesn't get kept rolling again. You know? Bryce is doing the panic rolls right now. You can you can see it. Waldo just even saw it. He really capitalized on it too. All right. Well, the Waldo needs to close out the stock. Like, yeah, it is soon. Poor thing. He's struggling. Starts smiling. Oh. Whoa. He's having problems linking those kill moves. Oh. And he's gonna get that back. And see them. I just commentators cursed him. Shame on you, Bucko. What are you doing? Waldo making sure that he does not up Because, you know, Bars and them realize in game two that orbiting using the orbiters against up will kill him. They will get they will have a dead height. Good nair. That's a good spacing in general, to be honest. Oh, Jay grabbed. Forced to up -y. Ooh, ooh. That could have ended up way worse than this. Ooh, they just could go horribly right. Ooh, ooh, he tried to two frame him. I think the orbiters there was actually not a bad idea. Because he was so low. It's like, what, what can he really do? Ooh, that, that was not bad. safe. I feel like Bar should just be playing as carefully as humanly possible. Just working on pokes. You know? Because right now this is really scary. Oh, oh no, that this was looking scary right now. I that, almost at max rage. That is something you do not want to have. Ooh. Oh no. One more up air, we'll kill him. He will die. He will just be D E D dead. <laughs> Trying to go for that two frame now. They're both. Ooh. This is a very bad situation. They're both, both of them. It's not even a bakery anymore. Oh, could have backed him. It wouldn't have killed or anything, but it would have put him in a better edge guard position. That's oh, gonna do it though. That up smash. Oh. Good job to Bars and Jeremy for taking that out. Well fought by Waldo, though. We would have thought that was not as close as it seemed, but everyone knows it was a lot closer. Also, I was slightly off on my thing. The first hit is actually frame four. Okay. 